Bamboo can get a bit of bad press because the running types can get over-enthusiastic, but the clumping forms make the most attractive feature plants or screens. Bamboo is super strong. Historically, it's been used to build everything from houses to flooring. In many countries, the leaves and culms have been used to make all sorts of everyday items, like furniture and baskets. Even the young shoots of many species can be eaten. And from a design point of view, they're the perfect choice for Asian or tropical inspired gardens. This is one of the mountain clumping bamboos and it grows wild on the lower altitudes of the Himalayas. Now its botanical name is a bit of a mouthful, Himalaya calamus hookerianus, but let's just call it blue bamboo. And you can see that the real feature of this plant are these striking blue stems which get even more intense in the cold and it really does make a beautiful screen. Gracilis is another super striking clumping variety with tall straight canes that make an excellent screen and attractive green-blue culms. It can reach a height of five to six metres tall in most situations, so it's the perfect choice for screening out the neighbours. Black bamboo, Phyllostachys nigra, is one of the running bamboos that you might like to consider for big pots. The feature of this plant? Stunning black canes that contrast with lush green foliage. It makes an attractive hedge or screen in a contained area and looks beautiful in a decorative pot. Planted in full sun for best colour. If you're after something bamboo-esque without the imposing height and presence, then look out for varieties of the Japanese sacred bamboo or nandina. It's not actually related to bamboo, but you can see that the foliage is very bamboo-like. And this is one of the dwarf forms which make great potted features or low borders, and they light up the garden with fiery new growth.